izinkan saya berbahasa Inggeris untuk saya kongsikan bagaimanakah iaitu S&P 500 iaitu prestasi saham Amerika Syarikat. Alright, I'm going to start uh, showing you share by the fin financial visualization. How is the standard and poor 500 index stocks categorized by sector and industry which all of you can see the size within all these boxes represents the market cap and definitely if I can share you uh, the US market that ended higher and the Nasdaq gained more than 1% on Wednesday a day after a sell-off as the latest economic data show US private payrolls increased less than expected in September. Consumers discretionary rose 2% leading S&P 500 sectors higher followed by communication services and technology as US Treasury yields ease off of 16-year high. The ADP National Employment Report was chaired by investors worried about rising interest rates and the likelihood that the Federal Reserve may need to keep rates higher for longer. And we're going to start with one of the major biggest sector within the S&P 500 which I'm going to start with Microsoft as of this morning is up by 1.7%. 8% and the latest news about Microsoft is Chief Executive Satya Nadella. Nadella said Monday tech giants were competing for vast troves of content needed to train artificial intelligence and complained Google was locking up content with expensive and exclusive deals with publisher. Testifying in a landmark US trial against its rival Google, the first major antitrust case brought by the US since it sued Microsoft in 1998, Nadella testified the tech giant's efforts to build content libraries to train their large language models reminds me of the early phases of distribution deals. Distribution agreements are at the core of the U.S. Justice Department's antitrust fight against Google. The government says that Google, with some 90% of the search market, illegally pays $10 billion annually to smartphone makers like Apple and wireless carriers like AT&T and others to be the default search engine on their devices. The cloud in search makes Google a heavy hitter in the lucrative advertising markets, boosting its profit. Nadella said building artificial intelligence to computing power or server and data to train the software on server. He said no problem, we are happy to put in the dollar. But without naming Google, he said it was problematic if other companies lock up exclusive deals with big content makers and then we can see it's a green it's a green wave within the technology uh, sector under the software and infrastructure and for consumer electronics we can see Apple is also up we can see green wave up by 0.73 percent Apple uh, we can see Apple chief executor Tim Cook made 41.5 million dollar after taxes in his biggest share sale in two years a U.S. securities filing show Cook sold 511,000 shares, which were worth about $87.8 million before accounting for taxes. According to the filing dated Tuesday, he made $355 million from a stock sale in August 2021. The Apple chief owns about 3.3 million shares value at about $565 million following the sale, the filing show. The company's shares have fallen 13% from their record high of $198.23 in July as investors fret about the slower than expected recovery in the smartphone demand. And we're going to go take a look at the financial sector within the S&P 500. We can see Visa is one of of the online digital payment, uh, Professor uh, Processor Visa on Monday launched a $100 million venture fund for generative artificial intelligence. AI starts up joining a list of investors who have flocked to the sector this year, which several high-profile names also such as Microsoft and Alphabet's Google have backed the AI space, a buzzword in technology circles this year. After chatbot ChatGPT's popularity, and Visa Chief Product and Strategy Officer Jack Forrester said in a statement, while much of generating AI so far has been focused on tasks and content creation, this technology will also meaningfully change commerce in ways we need to understand. And this, as of this morning, we can see of the financial Visa is up by 1.05%, following by Mastercard Incorporated up 0.5%. 
0.69% as of this morning. And we're going to show at the semiconductor is also share the same green wave as the technology sector. We have NVIDIA uh, this morning up by 1.20%. We also have Intel Corporation is up 0.67% this morning. And the latest news about Intel is chip maker Intel on Tuesday said it plans to operate its programmable chip unit as a standalone business starting on January with plans to hold a public offering for stock in their businesses over the next two to three years. Intel shares were up more than 2% after the bell. Intel acquired the businesses when it bought Altera for $16.7 billion in 2015. Programmable chips sit between Intel's general purpose chips and chips that are designed for a single task and used in everything from encrypting data to 5G wireless, tele telecommunications equipment. Intel said Sandra Rivera an Intel veteran will oversee the new unit which will keep using Intel factory to make its chip Intel said it has started an extensive internal and external search to replace Rivera who currently oversees the company's data center and artificial intelligence chip businesses that competes with Nvidia and advanced micro devices and we also Google as of this morning updates is also under the communication service industry up by 2.23 percent we also have Meta is up 1.4 percent as of this morning we can see mostly the green waves all over here and we're going to move with meta updates with is planning to lay off employees on Wednesday in the unit of its metaverse oriented reality labs division focused on creating custom silicon two sources familiar with the matter told Reuters on Tuesday employees were informed of the layoffs in the post of meta's internal discussion for workplace on Tuesday the post said they will be notified about the status with the company by early Wednesday morning one of the sources said and Amazon is also up by 1.83% with the latest update British media regulator Ofcom will this week push for an antitrust investigation into Amazon and Microsoft dominance of the UK's cloud computing market according to two sources familiar with the matter between them Amazon and Microsoft enjoy a combined market share of 60 70% of Britain's cloud computing industry meanwhile their closest competitor Alphabet's Google has close to 10 and we're going to move on to the energy sector, oil and gas. We can see mostly within the S&P 500 market cap, we can see under technology, communications, and even financial and consumer sector is doing well. We can see all the green sectors. But for oil and oil and gas integrated under the energy industry, it's a bit red wave. I'm going to start with the Exxon. Uh, as of this morning, is down by negative 3.74%. And the updates, and the updates about Exxon Mobil is said on Wednesday, big increases in oil, gas, and even fuel prices would deliver a third quarter, operating profit between $8.3 billion and $11.4 billion. Fellow the year below the year ago's record earnings, but up from its second quarter. Exxon's snapshot of operating profits delivered in a security filing after the market closed signals a good quarter for oil companies on high oil prices and strong demand for gasoline and diesel. The largest U.S. oil producers posted total profit in the same quarter a year ago of $19.7 billion, $7.9 billion in its second quarter this year. Analysts currently forecast a 9.22 billion dollar or 2.37 per share profit for the latest quarter. This is according to the financial firm LSEG. Exxon's oil and gas production earnings were boosted by an about 30% increase in average crude oil prices during the period the brand global benchmark ended the quarter near $97 per barrel up from $72 per barrel the end of June. JP Morgan said in a note. And that are some of the U.S. market update as of this morning. So stay tuned with Niaga Awani from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. every weekdays to get the latest businesses trend and regional markets. Hoping this information can help us make wise decisions, stand up from the competition, minimize risk and thrive in the today's rapidly changing business landscape. Don't go anywhere as Niaga Awani will be taking a short break before returning with the latest updates on Inside Scoop. And join us as we discuss IGEM 2023 with my colleagues Najib Aruf and Haritz Ashraf right after this.